and welcome to another edition of Alcamoto and uh, it's another garage series tonight and uh, it's the 3rd of November there's fireworks going off all around me and they have been for the last couple of nights why they let them off early I'll never know but anyway uh, we've been doing a little bit more work in the workshop today and finished the roof insulation so we'll show you that in a bit but tonight uh, I've come across a new idea and this came about because every time I was behind someone else when they were leading and every time we stop all I ever hear is all I can see is your headlamps behind me you're blinding me and uh, especially one person and that person is Dan the Bastard um, yeah so he's uh, always complaining that my day maker is too bright uh, so the other week I come across a vehicle with something over the headlamps and I thought I said, is, is, is that factory so no, it's a film that I put on and it's MOT legal and it's called Fly Eye. So I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but we'll show you what that is. So here it is Fly Eye. So I got this film in a one meter strip, quite a lot of it. I've cut a piece out there already. So there's plenty to do a vehicle with that. If it turns out all right, I might even do the car with it, yeah. So this is the piece we've cut. And we're going to try and use the piece above the, the crease, where it's been folded there. And that should be enough to do my day maker. So, we've got a heat gun. So I'll need to just warm it up slightly. Uh, there's a slight curve around the headlamp, obviously, so we want to make sure that goes on okay. Glass cleaner. That bottle looks small for me, doesn't it? Glass cleaner. Bit of rag. And some extra lighting. So until we get the lighting sorted in the uh, the workshop, there's going to be a few shadows around. So here is the headlamp without the film, as she is. And we shall just turn the headlamps on. And there you go blinded you guys out there so that's what she's like on the road okay so let's cut a little bit more out the film uh, we've got a scalpel as well uh, to go around the outside and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, attempt to apply that on the bike let's have a go so first off a little bit of spray the glass cleaner all them dead bugs off there from the last bit of summer riding. You know, it's not been that clean for a long time. Okay, so I'll take the sheet. Sort of made an impression there already where it's going to go. Quite playable, so you can just mark into the groove and give you an idea where you want to cut. Just about see that. There are scissors. Slightly oversized. And it's quite cheap, this stuff as well, so don't worry if, uh, if you do go wrong. I mean, you do get plenty. It's, uh, for that amount I bought, it's just under five UK pounds, so make a mistake, start to get it, doesn't really matter. So we've just got about the right amount there, and then we can trim that off with a knife after. So let's go for the peely bit. And there we go. I have to get the grubby finger marks on it. See if you can see that. Yeah. 
tricky with the curves. I want to use a little bit of heat. You just feel how much more pliable it is. So just with a little bit of heat, don't go too close. Okay, so, I mean, I've got one, two, maybe small little pulls on it there. We've just got one there, and then one at the bottom, which is a shame. That was curving so well, but that's not bad, is it? It's a bit like a, it's like a grill mesh. So with the lights on, the side lamps are taking a little bit away from that, but just see the mesh part of it now behind it. That takes a little bit of glare off and apparently doesn't affect the lighting on the road, and looking at that, I don't think it will. Okay, so we've gone ahead and cut two more templates out now. The side lamps, the RLs. Right, we'll finish the look off. These should be a lot easier now because obviously the glass or the plastic is flat. Oh. Yeah, oh, position it. I would just use a little bit of heat just to warm up the glue because it's quite cold tonight. Okay, not bad at all, I'm quite happy with that. We'll just neaten up this now and trim that edge around. I'll live with that tonight, I'll probably have another go at that uh, another time, just to get that one crease out. But for the first attempt, just to have one small crease there and that one there over that curve wasn't bad at all. This, a lot easier. So, we'll do the other side and uh, put the lights on and see what it looks like with the side lamps on. That one, ladies and gents, that one went on a treat. Well, let's switch the lights on now and see what sort of look that's going to give us. So, again, it doesn't affect the lighting ability at all. A little bit closer. There you go. And with the last side. Beautiful. So, folks, I think we'll call that a wrap. Excuse the pun. So, what's your opinion of the fly eye mesh for your headlamps? I personally think it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll soon find out more in the daylight and see what it looks like away from this unnatural light. Uh, but certainly, it should take the glare off. 
not affecting the ability of the lights at all and it gives it I suppose a cool look some of you might hate it we'll give it a go but anyway thanks for watching see you soon I'll come out to out Thank you.